bum 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 the peter dislike show bum 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 so um i am seriously considering moving to my family in taiwan i actually started looking at some opportunities in Taiwan. My first time really looking seriously. And my inspiration came this past uh, few months. So I celebrated two birthdays these last few months. One on Jupiter and then one back here on Earth. Both of them pretty milestone birthdays. And it made me think about how little I've been accepted for who I am. I'm just such a misfit in the United States, especially in the big cities, less so in smaller cities like Phoenix. But um, I just feel like such a misfit and I actually tried to fit myself in by um, going on a date for the first time in a year. You guys saw in my last video, but I really didn't enjoy it. I really like going out by myself and um, enjoying uh, the way uh, I enjoy things. So. Um, and plus, it's freaking expensive to go out with somebody. You know, Phoenix is not a small area. And you gotta pick up somebody who might be a good 15, 20 miles away, right? And um, I distinctly remember the other day when I was entering the GPS and it was 15 miles. I remember thinking, this is kind of like 15 miles on the Erie Canal, except it's 15 miles on a mega highway and I started singing it. And, um, but my car is getting old and uh, I, I really want to buy myself time before I need to replace that car. So uh, uh, frequently going on dates like that is definitely not uh, within reach for me at the moment. And uh, But at the same time when I was going out with her, I did get a lot more acceptance at the places we did go. And when she met up with me at my work, I, I did feel a good sense. But that's not how I enjoy my life though. And it's really frustrating that we have to conform. I can't imagine how many people are married in a relationship just to find acceptance. Right? That's sad, by the way, that people have to resort to that. Now, at my work, I haven't run into toxicity, but I, um, my, uh, when I got hired, my dean wants me to submit this uh, paper and so, uh, and uh, we're working on them ha having some more full-time positions and publications are definitely helpful in that regard. But at the same time, I, I hardly have time for myself. And having these two birthdays that I celebrated and realizing that on Jupiter, I turned three years old. Right? I haven't really traveled anywhere between two and three on Jupiter, except for those conferences and, and a few short trips to Gdansk, Poland. That's about it, right? And so, and then I got to take this other this trip to New York. And when I hit the submit button on the conference paper, I was like, "Gee, I gave it my best. If it doesn't get accepted, you know, at, at least I don't have to I don't have to burn my vacation time on this crap." And that's what I thought. And it's sad because I really, I really, the publication really is my pride and joy. But um, it's it's too heavy for me to carry at the moment. And as I'm submitting it, I'm, I'm telling myself I don't want the paper to be accepted. It, it, it's a sad state of affairs, is what it is. And so uh, that's not the lifestyle that I see over in Taiwan for sure. People don't have to go on dates that they don't want to, and uh, they don't have to. Uh, compromise their uh, personal lives to for their professional lives or vice versa right and so um, after I submitted that paper I told myself this is the last one I'm gonna do before I get out of the country for good